kale is a wonderful vegetable. It's really high in calcium, fiber, iron. It's terrific. It's popping up in all kinds of restaurants and you can make it at home. Today I'm gonna to make kale with bacon and vinegar and let's get that bacon started. You wanna cook the bacon on medium low for about eight to 10 minutes till it's nice and crispy. Now let's play with this kale. This is called lacinato kale. It's also Tuscan dinosaur or black kale. And you'll notice the leaves are nice and long and this color is unlike any other kale. It's almost bluish green. It's really, really beautiful. It's a little bit sweeter than traditional curly kale, so look for it. Um, but if you can't find it, use the regular kale. It's just fine. Now, how do you get the stems off the kale? This is key. You can do it one of two ways. You can use your hands or you can use a knife. Let's start with the hands. This stem is really thick, so I'm just gonna use my hands to sort of pull the leaves off the stem. Now, it's slightly more efficient if you use your knife, and it's a little bit prettier, so here's the other way to do it. Take the tip of your knife and just cut right down the stem. Here's a great tip. If you're good at cutting the leaf down the spine, take your leaf, simply fold it in half, and then go right ahead and slice it. That that's a little super fast tip. For this dish, you're gonna need about eight cups of kale, about half of a bunch. Also, I'm cutting them in pretty big chunks. The kale's gonna wilt as it cooks, so bigger than bite size. And the bacon is ready. I'm just gonna let it drain on this paper towel. And next, I'm gonna put those onions in immediately. Just increase the heat to medium, then add the onions directly into that pan. Use a wooden spoon to stir up any brown bits on the bottom of the pan. That will flavor the dish. The onions are nice and soft, so in goes the kale. Now I'm gonna stir this around just until it starts to wilt, about two minutes. I'm also gonna to try to really coat the leaves with the fat in the pan, which is really gonna to add to the flavor. You can see it's going from that dusty green blue to a vibrant green color. Now that they're all coated, Looking really beautiful. Gonna go ahead and add two thirds of a cup of chicken stock. Stir up any remaining browned bits. Cover and cook for four minutes or until it's tender. So it's time to crumble the bacon. You can always use your fingers, but I prefer a knife. I like to get tiny little bacon bits so they really distribute throughout the dish. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice, bright green. This is the color I was looking for. And tender, no more crunchy leaves, just soft, tender leaves. Now, for a finishing touch, I have the vinegar, as promised, and glorious maple syrup. Delicious. And last but not least, in goes the bacon. All we have to do now is plate the dish. Oh, beautiful. This is just a terrific fall side dish. It'll go beautifully with roast chicken, roast pork loin, mm, pork chops, maybe some ribs, anything you can think of. This will look just beautiful sitting on your table. For more great recipes, check out cookinglight.com.